Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Originally in this video I was actually going to discuss a specific um, disorder that is uncommon but not like super common. But as going through the attempt of recording it, I actually got something in mind that I was going to talk that I was going to talk about in that that I feel like should be discussed in its own separate individual video. Now, bear in mind. What I'm going to say is how I approach things and how I have noticed it seems to work a lot of the time. Emphasis on a lot, it doesn't always work. That being said, let's go ahead and progress to this video. So I've met a lot of people in my uh, lifetime who have had different types of disorders, whether it's multiple personality disorder, epilepsy, bipolar disorder, uh, schizophrenia even, for a couple of people. Um, there are a lot that I've gone through, and over time I've noticed one teeny tiny detail that seems to be a common thing amongst all of them. Whenever they start showing the symptoms of these things, they people have a tendency to act like a different person. I feel like that the problem with reality a lot of the time is that when that happens... They're expected to be the same person as they were prior to all these symptoms, but that is downright impossible because it's something they can't exactly control. Um, and this is what a lot of people miss. A lot meaning maybe 50% of the world, to be honest. I honestly don't know. I've just noticed that throughout my life, I've noticed a lot of people don't see, it just seem to subside it. Um... I guess a good example of this would actually be people who have uh let's go with multiple personality disorder because that one is easier to understand a lot of disorders when you go through the symptoms of them have a tendency to the the responses from those symptoms make the person look like someone else, or make them look like they've altered. But what is the best way to approach that? That is something that a lot of people subside, and they just act as if they're the same individual all the time, 24-7, but they're not. That's like expecting an adult to act like the child they were 10 years ago. Come on. That being said, how do I approach matters like this? Well... Treat them like they're someone else. Multiple personality disorder, for example, is probably the best example of this. When someone has that, different personalities will pop up at different times without realization of the original individual. Bear in mind, though, many, many circumstances like this, not just multiple personality disorder, um, any kind, any, any kind of disorder that involves psychosis in a way, all of them deal with one thing, trauma. But each one is triggered in a slightly different way than the others. Some of them are a bit more drastic than the others. The response that I've always given to people like that is, listen. Yeah, simple as that, just listen. Now, the, res the verbal responses under that front that I would always do really kind of just depends on the person. Uh, for example, say somebody's going through an extreme depressive moment. I'm actually pulling this from someone that Pink Fox and I both know, but I'm not going to say who. Confidentiality, so I'm not even going to list much about it. Um, but say someone is going through like an extreme depressive mindset. So they start acting slightly different than their normal self. What do you do? It's a good word for it. Erratic. Um, what do you do? Well, your best bet is what I said earlier. Listen. And the response, if you want to be, like, pull a good Samaritan kind of individual circumstance, respond with more of a calming way that you would look at when... This is a weird way to approach it, but it's probably the best wording I can give at the moment. So, no offense if it does offend anybody, it's just my best wording at the time. Approach it like you would approach a child who's still learning about reality. Um, someone who has, like, a lot of people who go through these kind of things, 
even simpler ends of it, like epilepsy or just coming out of the response of a traumatic event, PTSD, anything like that, the best approach is to be calm and gentle. But a lot of people seem to miss that and expect the same individual to always be the same. It doesn't make sense. I mean, maybe if we lived in the 1800s, it would make more sense, but this isn't even the 19th century. It's not the 20th century. It's the 21st century. So that kind of idea does not really match any of the common individuals anymore. Maybe it'll match those who are like, I would say maybe hmm, 50 or 60 and older, maybe a little bit less on age. People who learned from a completely different source. But as of the current date that this is being recorded, that doesn't really work. The I, For example, there are a lot of people out there who start suggesting things off the fly based off what they think is going on with missing details, which is understandable because this happens quite a bit. Where someone will just go in and they'll say, why not just do this without realizing that it's already been done. And this happens to a lot of people. So I get it. The response can be different depending on the person. However, word choice has become a very, 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 very big problematic thing. I guess that's one reason why when I say the things I do in this video, I try to observe the actions of the individual before actually saying anything. A good example of this is one of my exes, uh, Tristan, who has a, who actually passed away, I think, like two years ago. Um, due to reasons that are not for me to say, that is completely confidential to her family. However, um, when I met her, she was going through an extremely rough time. She was being... Um, attacked in a way uh, by her at that point in time her boyfriend um, I had it took me maybe a month to approach her with it but I had to observe the situation to exactly know what the heck was going on I was surprised at all that she was willing to open up because I could tell that those symptoms of PTSD were really starting to seep through being gentle and taking things slowly and um, approaching things with caution can actually benefit people like this a lot. Again, PTSD, but this can apply to P people with PTSD, multiple personality disorder, bipolar disorder, um, or just to, uh, people who have MDD, which it's a depression disorder, basically. Um, there are several different disorders that this applies to. Even if some people have, like, a, a very weak mind but have, like, the lighter disorders, like epilepsy, or even, to believe it or not, autism, depending on the person, uh, a lot of people can be very sensitive to this kind of thing. That's why when you know someone who has that, you want to be kind of gentle about it. But, again, this is advice. This is just how I go about it. Um, it's worked very well for me. Unfortunately, some people do still bend around talking about it, at which point there's not much you can do. Let's just leave it be. You know, pay close attention to make sure nothing bad happens, but don't intervene verbally if it's undesired. Unless it gets to an extreme degree. At that point, duh. But, I don't know. This is kind of just my thought process. This is kind of my thoughts on the approach to a sensitive mind. Let's put it that way. That's probably what I should have started with. This is my approach to a sensitive mind, especially when it comes to medical ones. But maybe you guys approach it differently. I don't know. If you guys like my thoughts on this, though, give the video a like, and if you really like this kind of stuff, why not consider subscribing to the channel? We have over 270 discussion and rant videos, including this one. If you want to check those out, click the link on the side of my head here. Um, or if this didn't quite float your boat and you want to check something else out, why not click the link on the other side? You might find something that might float your boat a bit better. In the meantime, 
I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in this video, guys, and we hope to see you all in another. Catch you guys later.